Happy Monday, homespun friends. I'm coming to you here from my living room today. I've been very busy. I have been doing laundry and I have swept out my carports. I have done all the dishes and put them away. Um, I've done several other things this morning. So I have been hard at work and I just wanted to take a pause um, to come to you today and show you a couple of things that are some of my treasures from home. Um, most of the things that I have to the world would not be considered very valuable, but they're special to me. And one of the values that I was brought up with, and perhaps you were too, is that if you take care of what you have and keep it clean um, and take care of your home um, and work with what you have, then whatever you have, God will bless it and it will be um, wonderful in His sight. And so if you live in a small home or an apartment, you take care of that. If you live in a large home that you're responsible for that, you have to take care of that. And so whatever God gives you, you take care of it and you're thankful for it. And you make the most of it. And then God will bless you. And so this is something that I was brought up um, to treasure in my heart. And so wherever we've lived, if we've lived in parsonages of all sizes, we've lived in Appalachian Mountains where money was very, very tight. Um, we've lived in cities. Wherever we've lived, wherever God has placed us, we have been thankful for what he's given us. And so that's the way we view a lot of our um, possessions as well. Um, some of these things we have even found in, in a dumpster, <laughs> you know, and we've re recycled them and brought them back to life. And so um, we treasure those things and we're thankful for them. I wanted to show you a few of the things I have around my home that I really, really love. Now, I know there is a glare off of this um this print, I'm not going to be able to show it to you the way that I would like to, but this is a print by my favorite artist, John Sloan, and this particular one is called The Heart of the Home, and as you can see, the mother, I'm going to try to get it where you can see her, she's standing there baking in her kitchen, and she's got the window open, and there's her cat sitting there at her feet, and there's his little bowl of milk, and I love, this is one of my favorites of his paintings. It's hard to pick just one, um, but this is one of my favorites, and he sent this to me, signed it with my name on it. I'm going to show it to you and I truly treasure it. I love it because John Sloan is just, just my favorite artist. And you've, if you have not gone to his uh, Facebook page and liked it or checked out his artwork, that is something I really recommend that you do um, because um, he's just a wonderful artist and he does a lot of what I would consider homespun type paintings, paintings that center on the home and on the family and on the farm. Here is an old washstand that we acquired when we were in the mountains. Um, my husband and I refinished furniture. We um, learned how to do that so that we could help supplement our income while we were there. And often we would um, run up against people that wanted something done for their home. We also came the bottoms of chairs and um, not a lot of people do that anymore. So what they would ask us to do, since they didn't have a lot of money, we would barter and we loved the bartering system. We would say, yes, we'll put the caning in your chairs if you'll buy us the supplies and give us something that you, that you might have that we really like. And this particular washstand was in a barn and uh, the man wanted us to do some work for him. And it, this was in sort of some pieces now uh, because it is a very old uh, piece of furniture. But um, we we asked him, could we could we have this particular piece and we'd put it back together. And so he, he allowed us to, to purchase this um, and barter some by doing some things for him. We were able to obtain this particular piece and we love it. And we've had it just about every place that we have lived since then. And um, it's quite a treasure to us. And I love it because I think it's homespun. This is a 1913 flexible flyer sled from New York. And uh, my husband and I just came across it while visiting an older town nearby. It was in like an auction house and just an old timey auction. And so when we found out when the auction was, we decided that we were gonna go back and try to get it. And um, when it came up in the auction, they started the bidding way too high, much more money than we wanted to pay or had to pay. And so we just stuck around after the auction was over. And it just so happened that the person that was um, selling this on a consignment was in the building. And when we talked to the auctioneer, is there any way that um, we might could get this for a lesser price? He said, well, if you'll wait right here, I'll go and ask the owner if he'll be willing to talk to you guys. And so he came and met us. And after meeting us, he said that he would give it to us for the for the money that we had planned set aside to pay for it. And I just treasure it. I love it because even though it's very old and you can tell that it's been well used, it still has the imprint in the middle of the eagle and it says flexible flyer. 
and I love it. It's one of my favorite things. This piece is, um, I don't know what to even call it. I don't know if it's made out of some type of porcelain, but it's a 3D um, vase of flowers. And my uh, paternal grandmother, who loved art, she found this at a thrift store for just a couple of bucks. And she brought it to me because she knows how much I love old things. And I have it sitting up here on my, my old country stand. And I love it. Every time I look at it, I wonder who who made that and who are all the people that have had that item in their homes. Um, to me, it's a treasure. This particular, um, I guess it, it would be called like a, a pie cabinet or a pie safe, um, was in the trash. It was actually in pieces being thrown away off the back of someone's truck. And um, we went and picked it up and my husband and I worked very hard to refinish it. He worked harder than I did on this one and to put it back together. And when we got ready to um, do the doors, um, we did not have, um, the, the metal was, was no longer in with these doors. So we had to order the pieces. And when we ordered them, they did not quite fit. Um, they're pretty much a standard size available now. And we really struggled. What are we going to do? So we had a couple older men in our church and we called on them. They are just great handymen. And they came and they worked to um, make this little um, border right here out of wood so that um, our, our door panels would fit in properly. And as you can see, I'm going to close this side of here so you can see. I've got a wreath on it now, but you can see that both of them do have. Um, and I chose this particular I love the wheat tears and so when we got ready to select doors they had different patterns but my husband said well you pick whatever it is that you want and I love the wheat tears and our friends helped us put this in and um, they just did it out of love for us and so this is one of our treasured pieces this particular piece is not so much a treasure but it's one that I, I guess in my heart I do really think fondly of it um, this particular wreath I made myself and I made it out of coffee filters. And I know that's kind of hard to believe, but that is made completely out of styrofoam and coffee filters, the brown coffee filters. And um, took a lot of hot glue and a lot of burned fingertips to make this particular wreath, but I loved it because it looked old, even though it's not old, but I've had it a number of years. And it's just one of the things that I made with my own hands. Um, I really love filling my house with things that I have worked on myself. Some people like to go out and buy new things and there's nothing wrong with that. If you love that, that's your home. But I like things that I can salvage, that I can save from being thrown away or things that I have made myself. Um, this particular painting is, um, is just a print by uh, John Rossini. I know many of you know his works. And this was in a, an old storage building that was just being trashed, being thrown away. And I salvaged this particular picture and I love it. I love it over my mantle. And then on a later time, I will show you all of my husband's radios. He loves antique radios. He loves them like crazy. And he's um, collected them through the years and really has been hesitant to get rid of even one. So we moved into this much smaller home a couple years ago. Um, we got rid of a few, but we kept uh, many of them, as many as we could. And this is one of his favorites that's here in our mantle. And um, those are treasures that someone was going to get rid of, didn't use them anymore, even was going to, you know, maybe toss them. And um, and we just decided to um, to salvage them and, and fix them up and make them a part of our home. The light's not really good in this spot. I'm sorry I'm getting a lot of glare off my glasses, but I just wanted to pause with uh, just this moment and say thank you for spending part of your Monday with me, for just looking around my home at some of my treasures. If you've enjoyed this video, could you give it a thumbs up and subscribe? If you'll let me know in the comments below that you enjoyed it, I will show you other treasures around our house and tell you where we found them. Um, we didn't pay hardly anything for anything that we have, and um, we're very frugal people, so uh, maybe I could give some tips that would help you in finding things to put into your home that you love. Thank you, friends, and God bless you. Bye-bye.